As we've reported, writer Tom Clancy passed away this week at the age of 66. And yeah, we're finding out now that he had some t strong ties here in Connecticut. News 8's Tina Detell has more from our new London newsroom at the day. No matter how successful he got, Tom Clancy never forgot those who were there from the very beginning. I remember I picked him up at the train station because he was afraid to fly. The year was 1984. Frank Diener owned the paperback booksmith in the New London Mall, and he brought in Tom Clancy for his first ever book signing. Clancy, an insurance salesman at the time, sent him this thank you note. That's a neat bookstore you guys have. I've seen places with a little style run by people who know books. Maybe we'll see each other again. And they did many more times. This photo taken by the Day of New London in 1998. For luck, Clancy continued to come back to the store, which is now closed. Sometimes his only book signing stop. The most memorable thing about him was uh, he was extremely sharp. He had a mind like a steel trap. He could remember everything about every detail. Diener himself, of course, has copies of all the books that Tom Clancy signed, including this one, Red Storm Rising. Now, this is Tom Clancy's second book, and after this signing at the store, he stayed right here at Diener's house. That's where he told Diener about the movie deal he made. A great day, comrades. The Hunt for Red October, Clancy's first techno thriller, and the first made into a Hollywood blockbuster. I remember we're having dinner, he picks up a little napkin, and he said, this is me, square. <laughs> <laughs> Diener says Clancy's hands would hurt so much at the book signings that the store manager would go to a nearby pizza shop to get ice, so he could ice down his hands. In the New London Newsroom at the Day, Tina Detell, News 8.